This is Going the Distance, the official podcast of SAE Super Mileage. Welcome to Mike and Scott's Unnamed University Programs, update also known as MSU UPU. Mike, that sounds, that acronym sounds like you put your hand in a Scrabble bag and just pulled out random letters. Well, let me tell you something, Scott. Just like in the game of Scrabble, this show is a triple word answer. A little bird around the corner told us that CDS teams needed another communication touch point as we move throughout the 2022 season. And the MSU UPU is the answer. Join us, Mike and Scott, every month as we give you a brief update on the happenings of SAE International's university programs. I'm Mike. And I'm Scott. And let's get into our very first MSU UPU update. First things first, you need to make sure you're affiliated properly to your school on SAE.org ASAP to ensure you're getting all up-to-date information and important communications from SAE staff. Also, you're required by the rules to do this no later than two weeks out from your registered competition. So why wait? Why wait? Why wait? Why wait? Now look, if you're not sure how to do this, check out the series resources on your competition's website. There are instructions on how to affiliate and troubleshoot issues under the Team Operations Resource folder. Still struggling? Email collegiatecompetitions at sa.org in the link in the description. Speaking of collegiate competitions, for those of you who are unaware, collegiate competitions at SAE.org is another resource available at your fingertips throughout the competition season. If you are confused or have a question about anything regarding the program that you are registered for, you can reach out to SAE staff via the email and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Please note that all technical and rules questions should be submitted through the rules questions portal on your competition website. Although, if you're doing your best to stay updated by following the news feed, most of the time you probably won't need to email us. That said, you can make staying updated autonomous in a lot of ways by simply downloading the mobile app. Apps? Where can I get these apps, Mike? The apps? We all got iPhones. We all got Androids at the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. Please note, currently only the Formula SAE, Baja SAE, and SAE Aero Design programs have mobile apps. Now I gotta ask, can I turn on these notifications on can these Can you apps? turn on these notifications? I Go don't to know. settings, click notifications. notifications, get them dings on your banner, whatever you need, and you will be up to date all the time with the latest competition news. Can I also get access to the most up-to-date maps and schedules and documents? Let me tell you, they don't make notifications for nothing, Scott. And with these, you'll get all of that. Another great way to stay updated is through podcast episodes. Each Collegiate Design Series program has a podcast. You can access your competition's podcast episodes by visiting the links in the description or by clicking the podcast menu tab on the competition's website. Just before the holiday break, SAE International launched our brand new resource video feature, The Learning Labs. This new feature is built into your competition's website and can be accessed on your main menu upon logging in. Content includes videos and micro courses from previous virtual events. SAE staff, sponsors, faculty, volunteers, and more are here to help you succeed this season and beyond. New content will be released quarterly, so be sure to keep an eye on your competition's news feed for announcements. That sounds exciting. Exciting's not the word. What is the word? Exhilarating. I am exhilarated. Yes, sir. Speaking of exhilarated, Talk to if me. you're looking to give back to your community and earn some extra funds for your team, guess what you can do? What? You join the Learn Twice program, which is an opportunity for university students like you to inspire young learners participating in SAE's A World in Motion or AWIM. It's a pre-K to 8 STEM program. AWIM combines experimental learning with mentorship and sets students on a path to a lifelong journey of discovery. Virtual presentations are right around the corner. This year, we will be utilizing the platform Hopin to execute these presentations. So is this the same one that we used before in the past? Let me tell you, Scott, I love the question. It's different than the one we used in the knowledge events in 2021. However, it is the same platform that was used for the supplier showcase and fall kickoff events this past fall. So I'm already a little familiar with the site, huh? Yes, sir, you are. I love and it. And now look, Stay tuned to your competition's newsfeed for information on how to access this new Hopin website and how to submit your presenter's information as we'll be sharing more information shortly.
So for any Baja SA teams out there who volunteered to help test our new engines in Rochester and or Arizona, please remain patient with us. We are still working with several potential suppliers and we'll be in touch soon with next steps. Don't worry though, we didn't forget about you and we still need your help to test these new engines. If anything has changed since our initial communication and you're no longer able to help us test these engines in Rochester, Arizona, it's not a problem. Just email us at collegiatecompetitions at sae.org. Be sure to stay aware and plan for all upcoming deadlines for your competition. Remember, both registered and waitlist teams must submit all required event documents. What happens if they don't? I, I don't want to, but I have to. Oh, I need to know. Failure to do so will result in the risk of being removed from the competition. Oh my gosh, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. The procedure for these submissions are listed in each program's rule set, which can be found under series resources of your competition's website. At this time, spectators are permitted at the 2022 CDS event, and there are no team size limitations for on-site participation. Please keep in mind though that venue and state governance dictate what we do and the situation can change between now and competition. However though, for now, spectators are permitted and there is no team size limit enforced. But of course we will keep you updated if anything changes regarding spectators, team size, and or COVID-19 fluctuation. Tell me about Texas, Mike. Texas? They do it bigger, and that's why we have some big news coming out of Texas. SAE is currently investigating the potential to bring one of the Formula SAE competitions to Texas in 2023. 2023? 2023, Scott. I'm hearing that right. Yes, sir. I'm excited. You and me both. The FSAE program manager conducted several promising site visits prior to the holiday break and is in works developing what the program might look like in Texas. We will be sure to share any pertinent information for the 2023 season once the schedule for the next year is established. Wow, Mike, that Texas sounds exciting, but you know what else is exciting? This Tesla Formula SAE battery sponsorship. Hold on, Elon Musk Tesla? That Tesla. Intrigue, talk to me. Oh, I will. So coming out of the Formula SAE program, last month, we shared an opportunity on fseonline.com newsfeed regarding the Tesla battery sponsorships. Though the deadline to apply has passed, the response has been overwhelming with over 100 applications. Tesla couldn't wait to review the applications. They have reviewed them all and selected the teams they believe that can best use their product. Those teams have been contacted by Tesla already, so congratulations and good luck this season. Speaking of sponsors, are you aware that there is a feature built right into your competition website to help connect and network with industry sponsors? Simply log in to your account on your program's competition website and get connecting with sponsors today via the Manage My Sponsor Connections and View All Sponsors under the menu items. Upload your resume and connect with a sponsor or sponsors of your choosing today. Thank you for joining us on our first ever edition of Mike and Scott's Unnamed University Programs Update, MSU, UPU for short. And don't forget if you have any questions or perhaps a better suggestion for a name for our update video, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at collegiatecompetition.sae.org. Thank you for listening to Going the Distance, the SAE Super Mileage Podcast. As always, we want to hear from you, so email at collegiatecompetitions at sae.org. The show notes for this episode can be found at supermileage.fireside.fm. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast platform. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Search for SAE Collegiate Competition Series.